Well, free preschool for all. That is one of the proposals Governor Whitmer unveiled during last night's State of the State Address. The governor says the plan could save families up to $10,000 a year. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast breaks it down and takes a look at what it means for parents and taxpayers. With two kids under the age of two, Christy Seitz and her husband Jeff already have their hands full and soon to be added on is finding a preschool. It's been interesting. You know, everyone kind of freaked me out with the whole, you know, you have to get in early, start looking now. Sites plans to enroll her son Logan when he turns three, and she recently started looking at options, surprised by the cost. It's been more than I thought it was going to be. I mean, talking to my mom, obviously, that's my first point of reference. Like, is this what you paid? She's like, no. Sites estimates when both her kids are in preschool, she'll pay roughly $3,400 a year, a cost she's willing to pay, but not every family can afford. Unfortunately, affordable preschool is just too hard to get for too many. During her State of the State address, Governor Gretchen Whitmer made the cost of pre-K a priority, unveiling a plan to expand an already existing program for at-risk and low-income families to include all Michigan four-year-olds. Well, let's expand our bipartisan preschool effort, the Great Start Readiness Program, so every four-year-old in Michigan can access a free public preschool education by the end of my second term. Immediately after the speech, Democrats in the legislature applauded the move. My ears really perked up when I heard uh, free preschool for all four-year-olds. As the chairman of the pre-K through 12 budget, uh, it is something that I am incredibly excited about uh, taking a, a look and, and investing in. But Republicans were skeptical and want to see specifics. It may have some applicability depending on what income levels are, but free pre-K for everyone. I mean, if somebody has got millions and millions of dollars, are we going to fund their pre-K? Senator Jim Runstad of White Lake was also concerned how much the program will cost taxpayers, which so far has not been made clear. There's a lot of needs out there, so this is something we're going to have to really make sure what she's proposing is going to actually do what she's saying and is it actually going to do good. We will see. As for sites, she believes the cost will be worth it and feels preschool is an important step that all kids need to take. It's just needed for everybody. I want my kid to, you know, be able to go to school with other kids who had the same opportunity to go. Again, a total cost to this plan has not yet been provided, but Governor Wimmer is expected to unveil a new proposed budget in the coming weeks. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Brett. Now the Michigan Education Association supports the pre-K plan. The union statement saying in part, the governor's commitment to expanding access to pre-K programs to all four-year-olds provides families with the best key to unlock future academic success for every student.